everyone. I am Nicole Petty and I have worked as a dental hygienist for over 20 years. This career has enabled me to gain an expertise in the areas of detection and treatment of various oral conditions. A passion of mine is to educate both my patients and medical professionals on how a healthy mouth can contribute to one's overall health. In recent years, science has shown us more than ever the profound impact oral health can have on a patient's overall health. This is why those two aspects should not be addressed separately. As a healthcare professional, I truly believe that it is our duty to inform our patients how to achieve the best possible overall health. Dry mouth is one of the most unassuming but harmful dental conditions found among many patients. Dry mouth, or xerostomia, is an abnormal dryness of the mucous membranes in the mouth due to a reduction of the flow or change in the composition of saliva. At first glance, this oral condition may seem harmless, but it is often the starting point of oral diseases which can affect quality of life and overall health. In fact, the lack of saliva is directly responsible for the development of dental caries, gingivitis, and oral lesions. Xerostomia affects an estimated one in five adults. Several factors contribute to xerostomia, but the main cause is polymedication. Dry mouth is a side effect of more than 500 drugs, which you are certainly familiar with. As you may already know, over 7 million Canadians are now age 60 and over. This number is projected to double in the next 25 years. This group of people often deal with a long list of medications. This is why I think we should all be concerned about it. Other conditions can cause xerostomia. In oncology, radiotherapy of the head and neck can lead to permanent damage, while chemotherapy can cause more temporary effects. Certain viral chronic diseases affecting the nervous system or autoimmune, like Sjogren's syndrome, can also be to blame. Saliva is nature's primary defense system for the oral environment. Its functions include using its phosphate and bicarbonate ions, saliva acts as a buffer to neutralize the acidic environment of nutritional or digestive origin. Performs as a lubricating agent while aiding in proper speech and articulation. Plays an active role in chewing and the elimination of food and bacteria. Allows digestion. Protects exposed root surfaces and aids tissue repair. Uses its antibacterial and antifungal agents to monitor the natural balance of oral bacterial flora delivers calcium, phosphate, and fluoride to control dental demineralization and aid remineralization, aids in the immune response with the presence of proteins, cytokines, hormones, and mucins, the antibodies. Lacking saliva may cause dysphagia, a difficulty in swallowing, dysgeusia, an altered sense of taste, difficulty speaking, dentin hypersensitivity, tooth and root decay, failure in denture retention, stinging or burning sensation in the mouth, increased tooth wear and erosion, creates angular colitis and candida infection, mouth ulcers, gingivitis, stomatitis, lichen planus and other oral conditions. A lack of saliva can result in halitosis, bad breath, an incomplete night's rest due to frequent awakenings to stay well hydrated, leading to a lack of sleep and in extreme cases to anxiety and depression, resulting in a diminished quality of life. Maintaining oral health can be very challenging for patients suffering from xerostomia. It requires a great cooperation on the patient's side and time and effort well above what is normally asked for oral care. Dental professionals are going to great lengths to motivate their patients on achieving a good oral health. However, we need the help of other health professionals like you to really make a difference in these patients' lives. With this in mind, I would like to ask you a few questions that may help you identify 
If one of your patients are suffering from dry mouth, especially those with a pharmacological profile or medical treatments at high risk of causing a lack of saliva. Do you experience dry mouth? Do you frequently drink water or suck on ice to keep your mouth moist? Do you believe to have bad breath? Do you wake up at night with the feeling of dry mouth? Do you have difficulty swallowing food? Do you find it hard to speak without having a glass of liquid near you? Does food stick to your teeth? Did you notice a change in the amount of saliva produced or the quality of it? Do you have a burning feeling in your mouth or on your tongue? Answering yes to at least two of these questions may indicate the presence of a dry mouth. Let me provide you with some simple tips you could give to your patients with xerostomia. When possible, change or modify the medication's dosage. Encourage them to schedule frequent dental exams at least twice a year. Unless indicated otherwise, hydrate frequently. Humidify your bedroom. If no risk of choking, suck on ice cubes. Eat mashed or moistened food with sauces and drink milk while eating. Perform a meticulous oral hygiene using a mild toothpaste and a fluoride and alcohol-free mouthwash like X-Pure OptiRinse. In addition, anyone dealing with xerostomia should reduce or eliminate alcohol, caffeine, highly acidic or sweet food, and tobacco. Now what about therapeutic solutions? What can we suggest to our patients on a daily basis to help them overcome these painful side effects? Without all of the information in hand, patients often choose solutions that solely hydrate the mouth without actually stimulating the salivary glands. While those products may provide quick relief, their effect is also quick to vanish. I advise patients with dry mouth to attack the source of the problem by actually stimulating the salivary process. Effective and clinically proven products are now available and sold over the counter in many pharmacies. I'm referring to the Xpure gums and pastilles containing a concentration of 100% medicinal grade xylitol with a formula approved and indicated by Health Canada to stimulate salivation during the day. As you may already know, xylitol has been used since the late 19th century. It's a 100% natural sweetener derived from vegetable sources. More than 30 years of research shows xylitol efficiently treating dry mouth and reducing tooth decay. It has a delightful taste combined with a sweet and intensely refreshing effect. Xylitol stimulates the central nervous system to increase the salivary flow each time it's used. With the salivary process being stimulated, the patient can now benefit from a well-moisturized mouth. The tooth decay causing bacteria are not able to metabolize xylitol, so there is no need to worry about a user's dentition. On the contrary, stimulating the saliva flow with xylitol helps protect the tooth from decay, causing bacteria and acid attacks. Additionally, its glycemic index is low, making it ideal for diabetics. You'll find one gram of xylitol per gum and half a gram per pastille. Adults should take up to two gums three to five times per day or two to four pastilles three to five times per day. A gradual introduction to xylitol is recommended as it may have a mild laxative effect in the case of excessive consumption. Xpure gums and pastilles 100% xylitol are an ideal solution throughout the day. When lacking saliva at night, a specially formulated product is available as well. Xylomelts are xylitol in time release adhering pastilles lasting from three to six hours during sleep. Patients should place the tan adhesive side on the outside of a molar or adjoining gum, white side touching the cheek. 
That way, xylitol sends a continuous message to produce saliva throughout the night. This is an easy and satisfying solution for the patient. These adhering pastilles are completely safe to use during sleep and will not fall off by themselves. CPAP machine users can also benefit from them. I would like to make a small side note concerning candida problems amongst patients suffering from xerostomia. This condition is often linked to a lack of saliva and can be avoided by using X-Pure OptiRinse mouthwash. X-Pure OptiRinse is a therapeutic multi-usage mouthwash. It was proven to be efficient against candida albicans with its high concentration of sodium fluoride of 0.05% or 0.2%, it is indicated to help remineralize tooth enamel and kill decay-causing bacteria. Patients dealing with xerostomia can also benefit from a remineralizing toothpaste. As mentioned before, the lack of saliva can cause or increase tooth wear erosion as well as dentin hypersensitivity or tooth and root decay. Hence, a remineralizing toothpaste like X-Pure Remin can be a great option. It is fluoride-free and composed of nanomedical hydroxyapatite, a calcium phosphate compound which is the main substance of our teeth. Nanomedical hydroxyapatite particles penetrate below the surface of enamel to deeply remineralize demineralized areas offering protection against hypersensitivity, leading to diminished xerostomia side effects. In addition, x is a toothpaste that can offer benefits for patients with compromised oral health, since it is sweetened with 10% xylitol, is lightly flavored, offers a neutral pH, has a low abrasive index, is free of harsh foaming agents, and is GMO gluten and sugar free. In closing, I would like to talk to you about a super effective treatment against oral lesions from traumatic origin, Genji Gel. Oral lesions are commonly found in patients lacking saliva, but can also appear within the general population. These oral lesions can present themselves as aphthous ulcers, bites, or all kinds of irritation. They can cause discomfort and can even dictate dietary choices of the patient. Benzocaine has a long history of helping with those lesions, but it does not treat them. Moreover, you are now aware of the risk issued by Health Canada regarding metemoglobinemia with the use of those products. A completely safe solution using hyaluronic acid can now be offered to patients. It performs three synergistic effects, anti-inflammatory, accelerate the healing process, provides a protective barrier. Hyaluronic acid is one of the major components of the human body. It provides protection and helps create stronger tissues in the mouth, as well as supports teeth tissues. It's essential to maintain a good gingival health. In the initial stage of inflammation, tissues requirement for hyaluronic acid increases by 200% demonstrating its central role in regulating cell turnover and optimizing tissue regeneration. By receiving hyaluronic acid, inflamed tissues will be able to regulate the water balance responsible to decrease swelling and compression. To conclude, let me reiterate how big of an impact you can have on the population's oral health. As I was mentioning earlier on, oral health should not be seen as separate from overall health. As a matter of fact, gingival inflammatory state, whether it's gingivitis and or periodontitis, has a direct effect on cardiac risk, risk of premature birth, development of type 2 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, kidney diseases, pneumopathy, development of Alzheimer's disease, and many more. Therefore, treating oral inflammation would not only help with periodontal disease, but also with other chronic inflammatory diseases in the body. I very much hope that these minutes spent with me will encourage you to ask your patients about their oral health. 
and to keep them informed about how it can play a part in their overall health. I strongly suggest for you to try the products mentioned today so that you'll be more prone to recommending them to your patients. Please don't hesitate to contact Oral Science directly should you have any questions about the impact of oral health on overall health. You'll find all the contact information on the screen. I am Nicole Petty, dental hygienist and dental consultant. Thank you and have a good day.